go right off the facts right now. I want to say this chapter, in my personal opinion, I really enjoyed this chapter, but I could see how a lot of people would probably disapprove of this opinion and probably say this chapter was complete garbage. Let me get into the facts of why probably some people would say they didn't like this chapter. For one thing, it's probably because of all the epicness we've had over the past course of the many weeks we have seen and the last week of not having a chapter with, you know, probably epic tension buildup of waiting for this week's chapter. A lot of people would probably be disappointed. But personally, One Piece needs these type of chapters every so often. Often to be able to, I guess, fill up its pace a little bit, to be able to reset on what's going on, I think Odin needs these type of chapters to know what course he's going to take the arc. So, before I get into the discussion of this review, I want to let you know real quick, I want to get into a talk of how I feel like this arc of Drez Rose is going to end. So, now let's get on to the actual manga review. Anyways, this chapter pretty much focused on the dwarves rushing in towards Sugar and trying to fight her, you know, alone. And Usopp was being Usopp being a coward in a corner. I'm kind of upset with Usopp, honestly, because his character, even though he's been designated as a coward since the very beginning of the series, I'm upset because we really have not seen him develop as an actual real good courageous warrior as much as he should have even over the two-year time skip. Hopefully, Oda will actually address these type of issues and eventually slowly build up his courage into a more comfortable level, especially since now he's in the new world. Now, let's get on to Robin. Robin has pretty much taken the sidelines in this series since, like, the New World arc. She hasn't really got any major fights. And getting to see how she's actually put towards fighting Treble now makes an interesting thing to happen in the series. I mean, I'm honestly very excited to find out exactly how Oda might represent Treble maybe fighting Robin. Because... Robin hasn't really ever gotten major fights. If we think about this in the past, she doesn't really ever have one-on-one -on -one fights. And so if she actually gets to fight Treble, we'll probably get to see how strong she is and see what kind of power she's accomplished in the two-year time skip. And I feel like that's what this main chapter is trying to focus on, Oda setting up the battle scene for Robin. So I like the chapter, what it accomplished. And I, one thing this chapter managed to do also was actually prove that Sugar is not as weak as we all thought she was. Okay, so I don't know if it's just me. I know probably a lot of you right now that was actually reading One Piece thought Sugar was going to be weak. Yes, she had a scary power of turning people into toys. Everybody forget about them and then probably control the toys to do whatever she wanted. That was an OP Devil Fruit power. I will even agree to that. That's OP. But, I didn't expect her to be so confident, you know, unshy. She just seemed downright worthy of an adversary for the Straw Hat Pirates. And now I can understand why she's in Dolphy's crew. She's not someone you want to mess with. Honestly, I expected some form of development to find out how adultish she uh, kind of is as a character. She may look like a lolly, but I feel like she's more adultish in nature, like she's more of an adult, which will add more emphasis onto her character. And I am actually very interested to see the way Oda will take her character. Because personally, I'm really liking Sugar's development because, I mean, just getting to see how this character can actually turn people into toys, that is overpowered. You saw Sugar just touch all the dwarves and they turned into little black bears. And I was like, oh, what? That They're adorable looking. Oda did great artwork on the bears. I, I thought they were adorable. And really, I felt like this chapter was good. It was a decent paced chapter. It wasn't the best One Piece chapter in this arc. I definitely say that. But once again, Oda did a good job. I, I, I think this was a worthy chapter of One Piece, let alone for this arc, to actually set up the actual characters for what we could probably see in the upcoming chapters. Now, I want to get a discussion about this arc and what I feel is going to happen. Okay, I think it's appropriate since we're at this point in time now in the arc and we can probably see how this arc may be going towards. I feel like this arc is very unpredictable. I mean, at a standpoint, this is a show-in manga and, you know, pretty much show-in mangas usually have the good guys always win at the end. But One Piece usually changes these factors around. I mean, we've seen many different ways of how, you know, Oda does this from a standard show-in uh, uh, manga. He does something completely different with his character, so I feel it's really good. Honestly, in this point in time, this early into the New World arc, I don't feel like it would be right for Luffy to truly to lose to Dolphy because of just the stance of not many arcs being into the New World. I feel like it would be too soon for him to be completely crushed with his entire crew. We have two Yonkos in this arc. We have an Admiral, and then we got freaking show two Shibikais. I mean, there's so much going on right now in this arc that there's so many different ways and directions to go and lead into new arcs. I mean, think about this for one. I mean, this can be completely just set up, build up arc. I mean, we don't even know what Sanji and the entire crew is doing on the Sunny Go right now. Yes, they went to Zoe, but we don't know exactly what they're doing. I mean, what is going on with Big Mom? I mean, seriously, do we even know what's going on with that? So, 
There's a lot of questions, a lot of different ways the end of the freaking Drez Rose art can actually end on. I mean, think about it. I mean, even though, let's say, let's just say it right now. Let's say Dolphy gets defeated, okay? Let's say he gets defeated this arc. Now, it could take a route to where Kaido comes in and probably just wipes the floor with the entire island, does something unexpected. That could possibly happen. No, nobody can disagree with that. And then we have, you know, Dragon. And Dragon's entire revolutionary army is pretty much on that island trying to get Ace's Devil Fruit power while assisting Luffy. So, Dragon can pop up. We can, or we can lead into an arc about learning about more about Luffy's father. We don't know. Or we can go to Zo and have the entire section of what's happening to Sanji from a different perspective of the Straw Hat. So, I love the way Oda's setting up this arc. It's really entertaining to know that this series is not as predictable as it, you know, usually show in manga is. So, I really enjoy a Oda's actual mastery of how he likes just writing his series with the flow. And I feel like that's what makes One Piece so interesting. And that is why I love One Piece so much. Because when I can feel like I don't feel like this is going to end like a standard arc in a series, that's a good damn job. You have to agree with me on that. Well, anyways, this is going to be the end of my actual manga review on One Piece this week. Tell me your thoughts on it. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? And what did you feel about this entire, yes, build-up, set-up chapter of Robin versus Treble and Sugar showing that she's not someone you should actually completely underestimate? Y'all wonderful day or not, wherever you live, please stay safe. Chibi out.